Hello everyone, this is Rocco coming at you with another 10.12 uh, video, 10.12.1 that is. We are going to just see how this does on our test route 1, this is the most, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, um, thorough test route if you will, this is the one I've done the most of any test route so I'm the most familiar with it. Um, not that it's really that much different than the others, once you've done it 10 times you've done it done it enough but I uh, hope everyone is having a fantastic day I hope, um, this video ends up going well we're gonna see here how it does get it onto the highway see if this car in front of us uh, what they're doing uh, and thinking and we'll see how it goes okay so there's a person in the middle of the road Okay, <laughs> that was, relatively speaking, I've never had a person walk across here, so that handled that acceptably well. Uh, it did jerk a little bit, and in my opinion, was a little bit too close to the pedestrian, but um, wasn't like absurdly close or anything. This on-ramp is still good. This is the second, yeah, second time I've gone on this on-ramp so far. High curvature detected. <laughs> was, it that, was it really that much of a curve? It's not gonna do, um, autumn. Ooh, are we back to really swerving onto the highway? I hope not. That's a, na that's a navigate an autopilot issue, though, not full self-driving. So I'm ho hoping we're not on that. Mm, for some reason, it's getting really hot in here. I wish, I'm just gonna go on a mini ramp. You can just skip ahead in the video if you don't wanna hear this. But I wish it would just give us the ability to prevent the heat from turning on. Like, maybe I don't want the heat to turn on. Maybe I, like, maybe in the winter time I want it to turn, stay off to save extra energy for some reason. I don't know. Like, just give, give us a heat button. We have, a, we have an AC button here. Give us a heat button. And the reason I want that is, like, in the mountains, it's often very cool in the morning time. So if you're in a garage or in a carport or something, your car is going to be, like, 60-something degrees, which is really comfortable because of the humidity. And it's going to be 68 degrees but then you go out and it's 79 degrees here in the sun and the car is starting to spit out heat in the summertime and it's just really uncomfortable i think that's what's happening here is it just it's not it's instead of just blowing recirculating cabin air so it's cool it's now blowing out heat and actually wasting battery power i've had that happen a lot uh, and like when I like get cold after like a couple hours of driving and you know, I want to turn up the temperature because the cabin's gotten cooled down Then it starts blowing out heat and it starts wasting energy instead of just like letting the sun heat up the cabin It starts using the battery to heat up the cabin So enough of that rant. I wish they would fix that. Tesla if you're watching, please add a button to disable the heat Okay, so I tried to brake for this motor hole mess right here. Apparently they must have had a serious issue. Wow. Um, looks like the engine might have blown. Hope not. Uh, but yeah, I tried to, definitely thought that motor hole was in my lane right there. Um, but that's just limitation of navigating autopilot. It's uh, just, it, it makes those mistakes still. Um, full self driving is much better at detecting when a car is in your lane or not. So that will happen when single stack comes up, it'll fix that problem. Engagement is not going to count. <laughs> I keep on forgetting that I need to turn back on automatic um, exits. But then again, then again, it's a it. That's odd because usually, so I have it on confirmation lane changes, but um, 
and usually it would still exit automatically on that. So that's interesting, but I'm still gonna blame that on me so that we're not gonna count that as an actual disengagement. Um, this was, wow, that was definitely improved. Um, getting, going through that yield and getting on, no hesitancy at all. I would always have a lot of hesitancy there on every update. But this is the first update to not have any hesitancy there, which is awesome. That's awesome. Immediately started speeding back up as soon as that car was um, officially turning. So those people were definitely causing some hesitation here. Um, yeah, so all that sped up for you. But all that was pretty good, um, considering I'm even starting to get more confident now that I can like not hold my foot over the accelerator as often anymore, which is a good sign. Um, with full self-driving beta, you um, compared to uh, autopilot, you don't really have the confidence yet that it's not going to do a random brake movement but that's starting to get it's definitely gotten improved here in 500 feet better left onto Asheville highway let's see how it does this up here much improved much improved again with the yellow lights um, as we last time last video we came through here oh in between did really good I'm not sure why these <laughs> well, I'm not sure what's going on cars that was the car behind me that was gonna be in a honk at not me my car yeah squeezed in good now this turn did was able to make it on the previous update this is always the hardest turn on this entire route whoa it, it actually turned on the blinker Let's see if it stays. It needs to stay in this lane. I am very adamant about this. Everyone, this is the correct lane to be in for this. For where for where I'm going, this is the correct lane. I'm on doing okay. I'm having to press the accelerator. Uh it went in the wrong lane. Is it gonna correct it? Is it gonna correct itself? No, I have to. In 500 feet, your destination will... Okay, the reason I have to do two navigation points is because it wants to go an alternate route to go this way. Um, but, we'll see what it does. This route, um, so we are currently still at zero disengagement, so I almost had to do one. Definitely had to intervene, some indefinite inter in interventions there. But no disengagements. But, um... There's a, uh, we'll see how it does with these turn lanes here. This is the first one where 10.11 actually, was it the first 10.11? Yeah, 10.11.0 messed up here. And it, ooh, this one wanted to mess up. You can even see how it's like, it thought it needed to change lanes for some reason. This one, it always does find that. It's the next one where it also, see look, it must be something it that oh this is this car is gonna mess it up it's gonna follow this car no nope. okay everyone that has to be a disengagement sadly that's gonna have to be a disengagement it should not be going into the turn lanes regardless of what the car in front of me is doing it should not be going in the turn lane they need to fix that like it's ridiculous there were version eights that would not do this I look, look, it tried to go into the turn lane and fortunately corrected itself. There were, like, 8.2, I'm pretty sure, did not do that. Like, come on, Tesla. Like, that's, th th these are basic driving mechanics. It sees a turn lane. It should know it's going straight based on the map data. It shouldn't get in the turn lane. Um, these are the things that make people lose confidence in the system. 
uh, compared to like when you have mistakes that are relatively so basic like there's a lot of mistakes it makes which are understandable sure but then you have mistakes like this that's just like it did fine for many versions for months did great did great no issues for months and all of a sudden it just time after time after time it would make the same mistake and it's just like what's going on um, obviously some logic has been changed in the background uh, to do that right here it's gonna mess up again oh whoa, whoa. Look at there. This is what it should do. That That's good, right there. Now, it's not the first version to do that, so it's not a first, but it did correct itself. You can see right right there, the little highlighted blue to show what the car was thinking that it needed to get back over into the other lane. So this is the lane we're gonna get on here. So sadly, not a zero disengagement drive, now but very close. I, want, I do wonder if that Prius wasn't turning there, if um, it would have messed up. Ooh. I wish I didn't jerk the wheel right there. But, um, so that's re really, really good. Um, not the best it's ever done that route in terms of disengagements, but in terms of smoothness, in terms of accuracy, it's approaching the best. So that's really good. I'm really happy to see that. We're actually gonna do a, just a bonus right here. I'm curious how this is gonna work. This is not part of our metric, so if it messes up here, uh, that's not going to be counted in the video. But turning on to this lane here. It's doing pretty well coming up here with all the shadow. Ooh, ooh okay. <laughs> Every time I say it does, it's doing well, then it like messes up. It gets, it get, like it listens to me and like it gets self-aware. Are you self-aware, car? This right here. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, it just it has to like not cross the line. Everyone crosses the line right there when they do that. So yeah, that's gonna be the end of this video, everyone. If you have questions for me, put them down below in the comments. It's still driving. Huh. Is it gonna stop? It's still going. Well, everyone, um, it, it, system of boring at the very end. Interesting. I wonder if it saw that kid that was right there. I didn't see that kid until like right before. They shouldn't be playing in the road. Um, but interesting. I guess if you guys have any questions, um, put it down below. I definitely uh, hope this is fixed for um, wide release. But yeah, hope you guys get it soon. Bye, everyone.